feel so presidential up here. Oh my God. State of the defense speech then? <laughs> no. How you feeling yeah. the way you guys played the last couple of weeks? Um, I think, you know, it shows that what we're doing in practice is turning over in, into game day. And uh, we take that very seriously, especially as a defense. So we started this in training camp and the OTAs and everything's just carrying over. And we got to continue to play the way that we're playing right now. It's fun to talk about the number of sacks against the Giants. But when you look at Sunday's game against the Bengals, what's the number that jumps out to you? As far as sacks? Any of the defensive numbers that you guys put up? Probably third down. So uh, that's been a major emphasis that we had to hone on. And uh, I think they were probably three, five, 12, something like that, somewhere around that ballpark. But um, that just goes back to what we talk about in meetings and what we talk about during practice. And um, going out there, executing the plays, rushing, um, stopping quarterbacks, holding their receivers, uh, full team effort. Did, do you feel like it took a little time for the defensive line? I mean, you're new, or at least new this year. <laughs> Draymond's new, you know, you brought Mario Edwards, so many new pieces. Did it take some time to just kind of all come together? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, the first game showed that we were still kind of really feeling each other out for like the first game, but now I think we're rolling. Um, we're playing off each other well. Um, we're feeling each other well. We kind of getting a grasp of what guys like to do. And um, I think we're starting to all gel together. Pete, Pete has really talked about your contribution, not just in what you do in the game, but uh, but uh, kind of the mental aspect of it too, of getting guys set and things like that. Um, are those things you're able to do a little better now maybe than when you were here the first time around, or is your role just a little bit different? Um, yeah, uh, you know, I went away for two years, and I learned a lot about the game from different people, I aspect of coaches, players, and pick, I like to pick everybody's brain. I'm kind of a football junkie. And so, you know, I came here, I just bought, it, bought those things with me. Um, I did these early on, but I was still kind of young and still – feeling out the way, but you know, this year eight for me, um, growing as a person, as a man, as a player as well. And, um, you know, just taking all the can, getting all the information, reading the pre-snap keys and anything that I see before the play, you know, I'm letting my guys know so we can play that much faster. Do guys listen to you know more now because of how long you <laughs> Uh I mean, you know, I, I would think so. <laughs> That's a tough question. Um, but I think we listen to anybody that got something to say, you know, nobody's above anybody, regardless of first year to 12th year. Um, you know, if the guy sees something and says something, then we're all listening. Because on that field, you know, we're all Seahawks and we're all one team out there on Sunday. You know, it's been running the ball a lot this season. When, uh, I know obviously they don't have Connor, but when you look at their running game, what kind of challenges do they present? Um, they run the ball well. They're doing a lot of different personnel than what we've seen the past few games. Um, so, you know, when we get to Sunday, we're excited to see, you know, where they come out and what they try to throw at us. And um, we've been doing pretty well against the run, and I expect it to continue. Um, here on out, especially Sunday. I think they're going to try to come in and run the ball, and we have to stop them from running. And yet, certainly, the pass rush is aided by coverage downfield. What's been the most noticeable difference? Like, can you tell that you've got an extra second there, or, or that, yeah. you know, you're. Um, personally, me, I think we got some of the best back end players, DBs in the league. Um, you know, rushing coverage work together, you know. Russian coverage, coverage and rush, it's the same thing. You know, they help us get sacks and we help them get picks. You know, we all help each other. That's the part of being a team, you know, a team effort on defense. What's impressed you about Devin Witherspoon in regards to when he comes forward into the run game to help you guys? Because he's not the biggest dude out there, but it yeah. seems like he's willing to, to dive yeah. right in. Oh, yeah. In this league, you know, sometimes you get corners down one to tackle. And uh, I think I told him this uh, probably it was after the New York game, especially after that hit. Hey, we appreciate that up front, you know, because – if guys can't run the ball up the middle, they're going to try to attack the outside. And when you got guys like Wispoon and and Jamal and, and Diz and even Reek, we call we we say he throw the bag of bones in there. And you know every time he get going, you know we, it, it's it's a physical sport, and we preach running and hitting every day. And um, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You know we want to be a physical defense, a sound defense, and a fast defense. And I think that's what we're building. That's what we're molding him. You said that was after the hit in the Giants game that you yeah. told him. Yeah, as he came, he fit. I think it was it's called like C seven, something like that. Jerry, you obviously get energy from the fans in the crowd at home. Are you surprised the team has a, a losing record with fans in attendance since twenty nineteen? Uh I don't know. That's a real tough question. I just know that we need all the twelve Sunday to get loud as they can so we can get some outsides going on <laughs> for the opposing team. Uh but no, we feed off that. You know, uh, just hearing the crowd and hearing them getting loud, it sends chills through our bodies. Well, it does for me. 
You know, it just gives you that extra boost boost of energy, especially like if you're kind of fatigued during that time, you hear the car out going. So you wanna you you wanna be able to produce. You wanna be able to to hone in and to lock in on that play and just, you know, let it all out, regardless, regardless of whether you're tired or not. Yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. All right, thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, Jeremy.